What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Oju's Okalo health condition worsens after court denied him bail today. May die in prison. All right, guys. Before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a uh, there's a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button now. Click the bell icon beside it to stay updated whenever we publish news like this without you missing any news again. All right, now the news in details. The Federal High Court in, uh, in Lagos has rejected uh, an application for the post-conviction bail by former Governor of Abia State, Ojus Okalui, serving a 12-year imprisonment for 7.6 billion naira fraud. Justice Mohamed Liman ordered Kalu to remain in correctional services custody until his appeal is heard. On December 17, Kalu applied for bail on the ground of ill health and the need to represent his constituency at the Senate where he is a chief uh, whip. All right, guys, uh, that is what that just happened today. This is a bad news for all Jews of Carlo. Uh, this is not good at all. Uh, remember, all Jews of Carlo was actually convicted on a uh, 36 count charge and sentenced to 12 years imprisonment for 7.6 billion naira fraud. All Jews of Carlo applied for bail after complaining seriously that his health condition had worsened. You get so, and so the court actually kept today 23rd for hearing of the bail application but um it came as a a big surprise like a blow to him when the court actually denied him the bail and you know before this time around efcc actually objected to the the appeal by carlo that the accused it is only accused that can enjoy a bail you get that when once you are convicted under the law you don't enjoy bail bail again you don't enjoy that privilege you get and he has been convicted so what is he going to do that means he's going to remain there you get and self and, and anyway he's going to remain there and actually appeal to the appeal court if he loses in the appeal court and once he loses the appeal he will still remain there up to the supreme court and this is not good for him you know that somebody who have lived like a billionaire live like a king you know what I mean? this guy have a a a, 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 a bedroom he has an estate of more than 400 bedroom in Igbere. so this guy is a king he underdeveloped abia state in fact when i posted this video should i say 100 percent people that commented all of them were very very happy with the conviction conviction of audios account they were very happy he was convicted that some people even said even that 12 years was even too small that he would have been given 30 years because what this guy did in abia state to the abia state cannot recover he plays the governor he plays who is the current governor of abia state and he's having it very difficult because right from that uh eight years period that all Jews Carlo was the governor of abia state within that period of time i think what actually accrued to the states from the federation account within that period of time was 180 billion naira you get and even according to sources the news we heard immediately he came into he became governor of the state there was no secretariat no nothing no offices that could be used as you know a, a launching platform for the state to run do you know what they were renting the state was renting apartment for running of government function do you know what all Jose Carlo did what he did was that he built some very nice you know uh, building and rented it to the state he rented it to the state at exorbitant amounts so he never knew that a day of reckoning is going to come and this is not that malami i've said as the attorney general of the federation he has said that there are 21 governor 21 governor are on uh, the, that's the 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 the, the Bari government have been the search light on 21 governor that 21 governor have been bookmarked already to be tried you get so that is what has happened recently Buari said he is not happy with democratic setting that democratic setting is actually very slow to him that he couldn't actually carry out the way he wanted to actually um uh, fight the corruption that it is the democratic setting that is slowing him down you get but people actually replied and said if it is democratic setting then that is not even an issue it's for you to get it's for you to get um the national assembly to pass a resolution making the court making the court to make sure that 
a case is must must be tried in under one year. Every EFCC case within one year should be tried and the person should be convicted, you know. So if they make it like a law, I mean, even up to the Supreme Court level, if they make it like a law, I think that is it. So there is no basis of complaining. So this is what has happened to all Jews or Carlo today. We don't know how he's going to do. He has complained of his health condition worsening. You know, before this time, he said he wants to have access to um to to herbalists you get that he wants to go for treatment he, this one is not the traditional uh a uh, 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 treatment he's going for he's not going for the orthodox treatments that is the one in hospital he is going for herbalists so a lot of people have been wondering why is he going for a native doctor could it be that during the end of the year like this or this politician what they usually do they usually vintage their fetish priests that will do certain things for them you know Scolibia, that is what he's actually up to you remember this person was also seen going to Oshobo shrine i mean um the minister of information lai mohammed so a lot of people put it in a joking way that he's going there to update his lies that for some time now he has not been speaking so maybe he's going there to take his lying descent to the next level so that I'm, I'm just trying to crack a joke here but what i'm saying is that a lot of them what they do at the end of the year they go to renew their power so people were surprised when not Jews or Carlos said he wants to go for herbalist treatment meanwhile a lot of people do go to travel abroad you know to seek orthodox treatment at high level but he's only he's talking about herbalist you get so that's given as a shock to a lot of people and i think the ELCC council told him that you cannot get treatment that even in the prison there there are hospitals you get and if you want your herbalist treatment you you place a request the man will come there to prison and treat you there so all what is happening to all of kaluna is like a dream i'm telling you the truth I looked at the whole thing, I studied the whole thing, I looked at it. This man is it it he appears as if it's a dream to him. Remember all this why this man have been boasting and said he brought Ruga to the southeast and all of that, and then he has been committing political adultery with each party that comes into power he does what he jumps into political adultery with those parties. You know, when, when I talk about political adultery, I'm referring to you know uh, politics of jumping from one political party to the other that's why i use that phrase political adultery you get so that is what has happened to him he has his own political party ppa in fact it was that political party that even launched uh theodore Oji. you understand me theodore Oji kalu theodore Oji. you understand me who is a senate now to power and then after that theodore Oji had problem with him theodore Oji did come to uh pdp and then carlo also did come as well to to pdp and both of them have been having cold war and then now ojo sokalo now they come to apc he did come to apc thinking he was going to have uh, you know a soft landing he was looking for a soft landing for himself but he never knew that this guy were going to use him and dump him that is a clear case of being used and dumped he even cried out from prison that he has been used and dump that is what is happening you know before this time around when they uh the eighth assembly the ninth assembly was about el electing their principals or jews or carlo actually fought the hierarchies of the party he fought to shumole to make sure that he clinches the deputy senate you know um a position he was looking for deputies he fought i mean he fought seriously until Oshomole tell him, look, Ojo Zokalu, you better go and face your ELCC case. You have a case with him, go and face that case. So Ojo Zokalu literally didn't know that these people were going to use him, number one, as a scapegoat. And again, this person, Fanika Yode, brought another point and said, why is it that the three people who have been convicted already to prison, Darie, Ojo Zokalu, and one other man, have been, uh, uh, I think, what is it, former governor of Taraba, I can't remember, have been convicted and sent to prison. He said those people were all Christians. You get so a lot of people look at um this or Okalu case as a selective justice. That's the way a lot of people actually look at it. But I also look at it to yes, selective justice may be involved in it, but I also look at it as nemesis actually catching up with Ojus or Kalu. This is nemesis. What he has sown, you get and he is ripe. Remember his mother. I learned his mother is one time terrible witch. You get where is his mother today? And he also claimed that he is a son of Buari, I mean, uh, Babangida. He said he is a son of Babangida. You get it. So, but where is Babangida today to save him? You see, this is the typical problem 
this is a typical case of being used and dumb. Where is it today? Ojis Okalo may die in prison because it's like a dream to him. This guy is the dreaming. He has not yet still woken up. And until he begins to realize and come to the conclusion that he is in prison and begin to live that reality, he will he will may he may run insane because it's not easy. A billionaire man it's not easy the likes of darie and the other guy they have come to their realities that they are in prison and they've accepted their fate and move on they move on maybe one day who knows another uh, uh this thing may come uh, a regime may come that will grant them presidential pardon but for now he should accept his reality and do what and move on that's what she, i would have, I would advise him he should accept his reality and atone for his sins and what he has done this is the opportunity for him to make it right with his creator at least in prison they, they are going to give him some level of you know comfort they may give him some level of comfort you get they would get they would actually accord them that respect you get so what do you guys think uh this is a macron tv um i think there are some reactions here people have actually commented let me read what some people have said here uh somebody has said good for him for being a pro fulani against his own people this is the best news down east here for most people all the sabo must pay for their sin that sabo means saboteur carlos lawyer are ridiculously funny on one hand they are saying he is sick to travel abroad for medical and on the other hand they are saying he should be out of the correctional facility to go and continue representing his people at the senate it should be clear now to this selfish politician that the grassroots loyalists they, they all claim to have is simply a mirage as no one has yet to protest since Kalu has been jailed. Nam the Kano ultimately have the last laugh cause he won evil politician ready to ready to betray your own people. Another guy here says Yibos won't like this a bit. Their savior will spend Christmas in prison. Another person says, I hope someone uses grease on his bum bum in jail. He should be fucked the way he fucked his state up from behind. Another guy here said, another guy here says, how is, how is Kalu the savior of Igbo? Do you have malaria? He's actually re he responding to what this guy says. Their savior will spend Christmas in prison. Another person here said, thank God. Another guy here says, so sad that means he may be spending christmas in jail he should never have fraternized with the evil apc party merry prison christmas to your to you regardless senator ojo zokalu uh, another person here says waiting concern me let him rot in jail useless man another person here says, hmm ill health indeed another guy here said the best news i've heard so far Another guy here says he don't read for him only. This will serve as a deterrent to all politicians that think they can embezzle the public fund and go scot free. Another comment here says Oju Zokalu, T A O G, and noun Okeze are the vagabond and looters that turn up and stayed into the world state in Africa and the world at large. Another guy here says you are mad, you are a thief, you don't have the right to come out and celebrate Jesus Christ's birthday. You thought joining APC will save you. Next is Rochas on Okoro Aoza. So there are a lot of comments here, but I'm not going to have time to uh, actually read uh, all of them. But suffice it to say that uh, Ojo Zokalu should move on and then know that he has 12 years to live in prison and that he has not even started a bit. He hasn't even started. He's not even up to a month and he's crying. He should know that there is 12 years, so they better for him to move on with his life and know that he's in prison and that the reality dawned on him that he will be there for 12 years. They're better for him. So what do you guys think? This is my account TV. God bless you all.